My name is Dick Hunninger, and I'm the Executive Director of IACT, which is the International Association for Colon Hydrotherapy. I'm also the Executive Director of the National Board for Colon Hydrotherapy. I got involved in colon hydrotherapy uh, back in 1994-95 time frame. My history is that I was in the military for 22 years. I flew high altitude reconnaissance aircraft called the U-2, and because of that, there are long duration missions in excess of 10 hours. And so you get up in the morning, put on the pressure suit, and you eat a high residue, a low protein meal so that you're able to last throughout the day. However, because it's a pressure suit like the astronauts wear, after four or five hours, you may get the urge to defecate, and if you do, it has to be done in the suit. There's a urinary collection, but that's only available for urine. It's very embarrassing if you do that, and so most pilots like me would hold that so that uh, they didn't have to have that smell when they had help getting the pressure suit off. So over years of that, six years, I trained my bowels not to go on demand. The same thing most people do when they hold it when they're out shopping or something else, our hectic lifestyle. Uh, I go to the flight surgeon with constipation, I wouldn't go for a week, and he'd say, well, that's just the way your body is normally. Well, you know, feelings of that, the sluggishness, the bloated, the tiredness all the time, I just, it was, it was dramatic. And after I retired, I found out about colon hydrotherapy, started taking sessions, and lo and behold, the muscle called the colon was able to retrain itself, and now I can go once, a, once or twice a day after every meal. So it, it makes you feel a lot better. And but that was for a, a problem of constipations.